A quick pricing tip to save you time, money, and aggravation. That's the topic of my next video. Hello everybody, this is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and today's video topic is Home Pricing 101, pricing your house to sell so you can avoid all that time, aggravation, and money that you're possibly gonna lose the longer it sits on the market. I'm gonna give you two tips. One is price your house to sell, and I'll say it again, price your house to sell, don't shop for a price. I'll repeat that again too, don't shop for a price, because if you do the latter, you're going to be very, very unhappy. So let's talk about what I mean when I say price your house to sell. Everybody has access to computers and data these days. It's not like it was many, many years ago when there was just a big book that realtors had with all the comps, or you knew how much a house down the block sold because that was a neighbor that you spoke to on a regular basis and you got that information. Now there's so many graphs and charts that you can utilize to price your house and see what it actually is worth. So think of yourself as a buyer. If you were a buyer, I guarantee you, you're going to price that house different than if you were the person selling it. But remember, it's the buyers that are coming to make the offers. You two have to agree. And in order for you to do that, you can't have a price that's way up. You have to have a price that's using current data or backed by current data. And where can you find that? Number one, you can contact a local real estate agent that would have all the current information on the houses in your area. Number two, you can go on some websites, mlsli.com. If you live on Long Island, that is the source to go to, or realtor.com even, because they get first-hand information. If you start using Zillow and Trulia, they're going to get information that is sort of second or third generation where they just pull the records from MLSLI.com, which is uh, basically a clone of the public record for sales. So utilize that information and then know how to read the comps. You have to compare a house that has the same square footage. It's in the same area and most importantly, the same school district and the same condition. If you can't find an exact match to your house, then what you can do is you can tweak it up and down. If the house is exactly the same, but yours is in better condition than the house next door, and again, think of yourself as a buyer, not a seller, because every seller thinks their house is in better condition than the house next door. So be honest with yourself. If it is in better condition, then you can up the price slightly. If it's not, you have to decrease it. If it's a little larger, you can up it slightly. If it's in a better location because sometimes two blocks can be the difference but that better location has to be backed by data you can't say it's in a better location because you live there the seller or should I say the buyer doesn't know how great of a person you are and that's not going to increase the price plus you're moving so even if it was going to increase the price you're not there anymore so take that out of the equation so it's got to be back pricing it to sell means back it by current accurate data shopping for a price that's a no-no that will not get your house sold if you shop for a price what do i mean by that well you come up with a number that's not backed by current accurate data you put it out there and you're just hoping for the best and let's say it's 50 to seventy-five thousand dollars over what the current data backs because again you live there so that's what it's worth in your mind well, even if you got somebody to buy that house, 85 to 90% of homeowners on Long Island actually utilize a mortgage. And like health insurance, the health insurance company, if it was a medical issue, they have to approve every procedure and every drug that, they will, that your doctor will give you. So it's not just the doctor. In this case, the realtor. The realtor, or should I say the appraiser, says your house is worth X and you think it's worth Y, and this buyer says, I'm gonna give you what you asked for, which is fifty to $75,000 above market value, it's never gonna pass the appraisal process, and you're gonna to have to adjust that price anyway. So, I hope this was helpful. If you're new to my channel, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. This was Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and thanks for watching. Hello, yes, I'm talking to you, the person that watched my video to the very end. 
Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook. I am a licensed real estate agent in New York State, but I also have a referral service that deals nationwide. So if you're looking for to buy or sell a house anywhere in the United States, please send me a text, contact me via phone, and I'll set you up with a local professional in your area. If you're in my vicinity, I'd be more than happy to help you out in any of your real estate transactions that you'd like. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll talk to you soon.